All right, so the next thing is we are going to learn how to insert tables and format tables in Microsoft Word, okay? So to insert tables, all you need to do is to come to the insert button over here, the insert tab over here, and you can see table over here as you just move around. So you can just click on it and it will start inserting a table or adding a table. Or you can click on this small drop down. The default way which I used to add my table is to select the number of rows and columns Okay, you can see this is eight by five, this is seven by three, and this is nine by two. Anyone accordingly, you can just, by just moving and swinging around, you'll be able to define the rows and columns. And once you hit on okay, it's going to assign those number of rows and columns into your text. You can easily hit and you can see it completely over here inserted. So it's very easy to insert a table. You can do the same also by just coming to insert and you can say insert table directly from here and you'll be able to define the number of rows alternatively. Maybe you want to have five columns or maybe three columns and maybe five rows. Okay, you can define all this. Initial column width could be automatic. Later, you can change. If you don't want it to be automatic, you can define the width and auto fit to content. You can enable this if you want or auto fit to windows. You can enable this also if you want. You can set to default table. Uh, set as default for new tables you can set the selection as default for new tables if you want okay so let's say we leave everything to automatic and then we we'll say okay and you can see it's going to add another different table okay so this is how to add tables very easily so one thing you should pay attention to is to add the table again the third method is you can come to the insert again come to table and you can draw table on your own you can just click on this draw and you'll be able to draw a table according to the specification that you want you can see now i have drawn a single column a single cell you can draw many more okay you can see you can just easily add draw depending on how many columns and how many rows you want to draw easily you can just do that and according to what you have according to the message that you have you can easily draw a table accordingly Okay, you can always undo and you can drag and drop and just drag and create your table. And you can play around with the features, the width, the size, and the other features as well. So one thing you should pay attention to, once we bring in a table, you can see the tab can change from layout to table design. You have these two tabs introduced in your menu over here. Okay, so the layout gives you all the different features of the graph and the design tab, you can see usually we have access to different designs table designs that you can easily format so in this one that we've created you can just come over just click anywhere on this and then you can come to you can click on this small cross sign and then you can come to table design and you can see a number of features for example the table styles you can see different kind of table styles you can just click and it's just going to take that style accordingly okay so you have multiple style you can easily format your tables into any style of your choice. So you can just go ahead and customize it to your liking. You can put in the header and then the next lines, the next lines you can put continuously. Okay, you can enable the table style properties over here, like the first column, you can enable or disable. Okay, you can enable the first row to be highlighted or disable. Okay, so you can see to be dark in highlights. Okay, and then you can have the banded rows. You can enable them or you can disable from here okay you can enable or disable from here i think i prefer something like this and then with little banded rows it makes it more meaningful and the table looks much more professional okay so you can include it in last column and banded columns as well okay if you want to add banded columns you can add but i think it's better like this and we can add shadings if you want just make sure you select the table you can add shadings background you can put in color overall color to the table you can see this is it. You can add borders directly uh, to it. You can specify the line thickness and type over here, and you can specify the line width as well or thickness directly. And then you have the pen color. If you want to write something or you want to draw with pen inside, you have borders as well. You can put in borders or draw table directly manually or view grid lines. You can say no borders or there about. You can play around with all these features. And then you have border painter over here. There's so much to actually explore once you are dealing with tables so over here you can just click let's double click again and select another feature maybe this one and i don't want to have the banded ones i can put in the headings for example one two three 
so you can just put your numberings you can just arrange them accordingly just like so and you can just put anything you want as your table okay so you can do quite a lot of things in the table design tab okay so one of the things you can do in tables you can come to layout and you can select a given cell for example you can select the entire uh, column over here and you can delete from here okay so you can delete delete cells delete column delete rows or delete the entire table if you want so let's say we we'll delete the column and you can see it has just deleted you can press undo to undo and then you can use eraser if you want to remove any section of the table for example you can just select this and it removes it select this and it removes it very nicely okay you can customize your table accordingly and you can use the draw icon just like we've shown here to draw more and you can check out the properties view the grid lines or remove the grid lines as you so wish okay and then you can check out the selection select cell select column select rows and select the entire table you can do that from here as well and then you can have insert rows above in cases when you have this and you want to have another row maybe you have this one defined you have this one with different numbers and maybe you want to add another row uh, at the top of this or at the top of this so it becomes two rows you can just all the way come here put your cursor at this point and then make sure you are at the layout selection you can insert above what do you want to insert is it a row you can insert row above you can insert row below this you can insert below this or you can insert above this above when you are here you can insert above and you can see it has inserted above and you can do insert left also if you want it to insert to the left of this or to the right okay so you can just make sure you select and it's going to insert it to the left okay just make sure you come to the layout you can insert left you can insert it at the left and you can insert right as well you can see it has inserted right to that particular cell that you've selected so you can match cells as well you can match these four cells into one you can select them and match you can see they are now one cells and you can split cell you want to split this cell into four you can just select it and then come over here and say split cell and you can define the number of rows and columns for example i want to have three columns and one row or maybe two rows you can say okay and you can see it has subdivided it it has split it into what i want you can split the table also or if you want you can auto fit to content and by just coming over here you can auto fit to content auto fit to windows or fix column width you can define all that from here you can have the height and width defined clearly from here and then you can distribute rows and columns and you can align the content of the table align left top right and center over here so for example if you have a number selected here you can see it is located at the top left okay you can select it and then you can come all the way to layout and then you can play around with this you can centralize it and make it at the center of the cell or you can make it at the top or you can make it at the bottom or you can make it at the bottom right or top left okay so you are free to play around with it and you can change the text direction from here can change it to any direction you can see it is uh, rotating it to any direction you can change the text direction accordingly and you can play around with the cell margins and you can sort also and convert formulas feel free to just give it a try tables are very wonderful and they are very very excellent ways to demonstrate your professionalism in microsoft word okay so but if you have it you can just easily select at any given point you can write select a table and right click on it and you have those very options that we've explained for example you can cut the table you can copy it and paste it somewhere you can insert columns okay columns rows to the right to the left you can do all that from the right clicking as well you can write insert cell so you define whether it's row or column and how many you can delete the table or you can delete rows merge cells we have shown all this you can put in borders and shape cell alignment you can align top left right and center the one that we've explained earlier on this one and then you can have insert captions in cases when you have to insert captions later i will show you how to insert captions and then check out table properties and many more so tables are extremely important and very useful in microsoft word or in document preparation so learn it and practice on your own to be able to have the best experience of using it and you can insert it at anywhere at any given point okay so i think this does it for adding tables and formatting them in microsoft word thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one